Hello, once again, back again. Thank you very much for joining me again. So, if anybody is wondering how I get in the condition that I'm in, it's because of these bad boys here. And they are the Olympic rings, also known as gymnastic rings or steel rings. So, they're a versatile piece of equipment that offers various strength and core benefits. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of these core benefits with you, just so you kind of understand how how they're good for you when i was in peak fighting condition if i would have known about these rings the olympic rings then i would have been in much better condition so first of all it gives you great upper body strength okay so it develops your upper body strength in particular your muscles your chest your shoulders your arms and using these rings like using ring dips ring push-ups, ring pull-ups, engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously leading to a comprehensive upper body development. Core strength or core stability. Performing these exercises on the rings require a high level in core engagement. The instability of the rings forces the muscles to work the core harder, maintain balance and control during movements. It helps build a strong and stable core, which is super important. Uh, especially when you're going out there to compete or to fight or just for just general overall conditioning. Going to, so we're going to joint stability. So using the Olympic rings can enhance the stability, also free hanging. Nature of the rings require the stabilization of the joints and the shoulders, elbows and wrists. This can contribute to improve the joint health and resilience and also it makes you just that little bit stronger, obviously, when you're going into competition. And just gives you just that little bit more of strength, overall strength and stability uh, when you're competing. I've incorporated Olympic rings into one of my clients' exercise programs. So it helps him to obviously gain that little bit more core strength, a little bit more strength, a little bit more kind of stability with his shoulders, his arms, his wrists, etc. It can be adapted to various different levels. So beginners start with basic movements and they progress up. Uh, they can increase difficult, you can increase the difficulty of the exercise, adjusting the body positioning and adding complexity, complexity into their routines. So rather than using the gym, the versatility of the rings allows for a different and wider range of exercises targeting different muscle groups. You're pushing, you're pulling, the movements are dynamic like muscle ups and levers. The versatility of the rings provide a comprehensive full body workout and you can even use them for your legs. This also gives you an increased range of motion. So the Olympic rings often involves greater range of motion compared to traditional fixed equipment, i.e. like the gym. This can contribute to improved flexibility, joint mobility over time. It's also important to note that proper technique and progression are crucial when incorporating Olympic rings into a workout routine to minimize the risk of an injury. Beginners may want to seek guidance from a qualified trainer to ensure that they are using the rings safely and effectively. And as you can see here, I'm doing a number of different workouts. Please enjoy the rest of the video and you'll see the different range of exercises that I use to train my upper body, my core, and basically stability exercises as well. So, as I say, as always, Please enjoy the rest of the video. Please go back and have a look at previous videos I've done before with regards to Olympic rings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe again because it helps me and post more videos. So enjoy. Before I go, be sure to leave a comment as to obviously on this video and any videos that you'd like to see moving forward. And 
any questions that you may have with regards to training, calisthenics, kickboxing, anything like that, boxing, and I'll be happy to answer. Oh, I'm a